Hi everyone, today in our video we're going to be looking at how we can organise this empty space here. So for so long we've had this piece of carpet in the back of the van, uh, just, just a piece of kind of normal um, garden type carpet, you know the stuff which when you take your lawn up you put this down instead. Uh, and it's done us really proud. However, a nice man called Simon came to us and said, did we want to try out one of those funky pull-out drawers? Now, we've seen videos that we've done before where we've shown them, we've been at shows, we've shown them, uh, they're quite well known, but you haven't seen one like this before. So this here is Spacemate. And look at the size of this. So obviously, as you can see, much deeper than all of the other shelves on the market. And it's got a single locking mechanism, which is really different because the others tend to have two latches, one on each of the rails. So if you're carrying something up to the van, actually the, the ability to just press and hold one uh, to be able to pull it out while you're carrying whatever else you've got, I think is genius. It's a really good development. And this is a really high quality, steel constructed, welded, seamed, powder coated unit. Uh, it does weigh a fair amount, uh, but that said, it's a really, really high quality unit. You could put tools in here, you could put, you know, uh, your porta potty, all of the other different bits and pieces that you uh, would usually carry in the boot, you can put in one of these. So today we're gonna put this in the back of the van. I'll show you how it installs. Just got two fittings which goes, uh, two fitting which goes in the rail. Uh, gonna install all of that. As you can see here, all you need to install it is a 30 mil uh, um, spanner and a screwdriver and a tape measure because I'll show you the right dimensions as to where you put those in the rails to be able to screw it in. And then uh, we'll give it a quick critique when it's in there. So I'll let you know what we think. Uh, Simon, who's designed this, is really interested in our feedback as well. Uh, we haven't told him what we think, so the first time he knows is when he watches this video. So, Simon, I hope you're watching. I hope you enjoy our critique. Certainly, uh, since you've dropped it off to us, it certainly feels like a great bit of kit, I have to say. Very well, very well made. And, uh, yeah, very much looking forward to reviewing it. We have got an offer as well that Simon's let us have. He has set up a web shop for this. So if you like it, you'll be able to buy it. I'll give you all the details for that at the end of the video. And there is a discount that he's offered us until the end of August as well. So keep watching till the end of the video and you'll be able to pick one of these up for a discounted price too. Right, let's get this in the van. First things first, I need to get rid of our trusty AstroTurf so I can fold that up and hoi that over there. And then, as I said earlier, 13 mil Allen, uh, Allen key, 13 mil spanner, tape measure, screwdriver, and then you've got these brackets. So the idea of these inside this track, if you've never installed it before, is a set of kind of ridges which are like that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to put in that in, you push it down in, turn it around, and then pull it back up, and then it will lock in the track. So uh, if you look at what's actually on this, the way that this is going to work is that goes down into the track. I'm going to take all of this stuff off. So take these bits off, I'll leave them in order, the way that they're coming off. So that goes down into the track, you pull it up, and then once this is poking through here, you pop one of those on, one of those on, and then we're going to screw it down. And we can do that finger tight and then you see there's a slot in the top. You can put a screwdriver in there and then we can use the spanner just to tighten that up so it's really nice and tight. And then you put the tray in and then that goes onto the tray and then that's a nylock nut which then holds it all in place. So what we need to do is know exactly whereabouts in here this needs to go. And Simon has said that it should be 740 mil from this point here. So see where you got this plastic lip? Um, and he's tested this on his 6.1 as well. So I do think this should be accurate. So that's 74 and 
74 will be at the back there. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go and pop this uh, seat forward uh, because otherwise uh, we're not going to have any space to be able to get these in at the back and me to be able to film it properly for you. So just give me two minutes. I'm just going to move that so we've got a bit more space and then I'll crawl in there and we can get these bolted in. So in the 6.1 you do get this really nice heavy duty wooden board and you can fold it up out of the way which is nice which does make this bit an awful lot easier. Right uh, so let's get into bolting these bits in. Okay so I'm in the van and we're at 74 at the back here against the lip and if I just have a look down at the front here I can push this through and then you can see there it's right in the centre of where the tape is so we know we're in the right slot and then we've got a nylon washer first so it doesn't scratch any of your aluminium then you've got a metal one so you can clamp it down nice and hard and then we've got this nice thin nut which if I screw it on at least I know now I'm not going to lose the T piece move that out of the way so I'm still pulling upwards and it's starting to go tight I've got this I'm just gonna tighten this up nice and tight and that is solid so same again on the other side another 74 centimeters so 740 millimeters exactly the same on the other side we've just trial fitted we didn't record it but we just trial fitted the uh, unit in the van and what we found was we couldn't push the bench seat all the way back so with these with these uh, screws here mounted at 740 from the lip um, it basically pushed it too far forward and the only reason we can think that that was a problem is the way that the bench seat comes back in the van uh, and sits against a stop is there's actually a hidden stop like this in the rail which stops where the bench seat is uh, which you can adjust yourself if you want to but they're obviously installed at the factory and I wonder whether Simon's uh, van it is a 6.1 but I wonder whether Simon's van when he's been building these and testing them uh, and fitting these I wonder whether his stops are further forward than ours and um, so maybe and we've never changed them in our van so very strange, but let me show you the dimensions of each of these because it is different left to right. Um, so let me show you the dimensions of these. So this is to the centre of the bolt installed against the back. So you should be able to see uh, that is 71 and a half. So 715 millimetres and that's on the side next to the kitchen and on this side just get that right there. Looking at the back, we're at what's that about six nine six six nine seven something like that. Um, you you only need these as approximate measurements because the, the actual gaps between each of the points in the rail are reasonably large. So uh, if you know those approximate sizes, that might work for your van. But what we'll do now is we'll show you how we get it off the floor <laughs> into, into the van. And then the final bit to do is to bolt it onto those two points at the back there. And then we'll show you the clearance with the back of the bench seat and all that sort of stuff. So you can see that it's just spot on. So, right, let's get this in the van. Right, I think I've reached the point where I need an able assistant. So chop, chop. Oh, I'm going to pay for that later. <laughs> right. So first of all, we'll just slowly pop this in here. Okay, so we've got to wiggle this onto those couple of bits now. So let's just push it back. And then lift it on. Oh, there we go. Without trapping your fingers. And you can see that seat is actually as far back as it can go again against the stops. Uh, and it's not quite touching. So then you've got your nylon, which goes on there, stops you scratching it. And then you've got these couple of nylocks. 
and what you have to do is put a screwdriver in that slot at the top so it doesn't undo any of the hard work that you've done already by putting them in the rails and that is solid so same again on this side so remember nylon washer first nylock nut with the if you haven't seen these before blue side which is the nylon bit which stops it undoing that goes upwards screw it on finger tight and then there you go job well done we've done it we've done it there it is look that is the space mate installed and what a job well done that is so obviously we uh, we had to adjust the uh, position a little bit to get this to fit properly but look how smart this is now and I have to say that grey matches the interior of this 6.1 beautifully it's a really good job and again single pull straight out and look how far that comes out the back of the van so if I had this board down which is normal look at that it's come completely outside the van outside of that shelf there so you're going to get full access to everything on this tray and then just slides away and that's locked in place so again just really handy to be able to have just one hand and just open it straight out the other ones that we've seen in the past have got two catches here so you have to move the two catches pull the tray out now one difference and Simon is going to make these with both single catch like this and the two catches the big difference between the two is with this one it doesn't latch so that is a free draw just moving around even when you pull it fully out it doesn't lock in any of the positions it's just like that um, obviously it locks when you push it all the way in so like that it's now locked the ones with the latches um, and once again Simon can do these with the two latches if you want they actually lock in different positions and the only reason I can think that would be a good idea is if you're on a campsite and there's a slight uh, kind of inclination forwards or something like that or backwards to be able to have this to lock in certain positions might be an advantage especially if you're going to use this for doing some washing up or you know if you're doing something out the back of the van where you want it raised up and you need this locked in position that might be a bit of an issue but you tell me in the comments below what you think is it going to be a problem would you rather have one handle to be able to open this drawer or would you rather have two let us know in the comments below if you've got a drawer and you've already got it with two catches let us know if it's ever been a problem for you because once again simon's trying to innovate and design these things so let him know let him know in the comments below and see what uh, see what you think we think it's really smart one question i'm sure you're going to ask is can you fit the potty in it um so let's well let's see so let's uh, let's open this up and as if by magic i've got my potty so Thetford 335 if you haven't seen our video on if the California has a toilet or not and guess what here's a clue check it out up there so does it fit with the board down yes it does so you can see there's uh, quite tight clearance there and what we did find was if you put it further back so if I push that all the way back and try to slide this in it does just just catch that bar on the bottom of the 6.1 but that said if I take out this piece here I'll fold it back over I take that bit out pop it in now in fact, I'll pull it forward pop that down it does that shows you how it shows you how close the fit is for the potty but with that uh, nice foam in the bottom which stops everything moving around actually having that at the front no problem whatsoever so yeah it's uh, it's good just a couple of other bits to point out though
Right, so let's just be open and transparent about a couple of things that we've seen and uh, kind of observed when we've installed this. So the first one is it blocks off the 12 volt socket in the back of the Cali. Um, so there is a 12 volt supply, which you can probably just about see down there, nestling in there somewhere. Uh, that 12 volt supply we do use ourselves when we um, use the camper geezer uh, and that's the hot water shower unit thing uh, when we're on a pub stopover and things we do tend to use that and we have always plugged it in down there not quite sure where we're going to plug that in um, with this uh, in I think probably the one which is over the other side of the bench seat down hidden if you haven't found it already if you've got a Cali uh, so yeah that's a bit of a shame uh, I think it's probably going to be the same with all of the design of these though um, when they bolt in like this because to get the get the width next to the side there, it's always going to be really problematic trying to uh, uh, plug something into that socket. The other key point that we found as well was this unit could be a little bit wider. So if you have a look down here, there is a little bit of space there, um, which means that for me, possibly it could have been a little bit wider, could have eked a little bit more out of it. Uh, and uh, it could have been uh, possibly even better and maybe on a future design version Simon will look at that in particular. I think you know in terms of overall design it's just a, a fantastic unit it's so well built. Uh, one of the things that I was talking to Simon about was whether it'd be useful to have some drain holes in the bottom of this because it's so well made at the moment if, if you spilt some water in here if you're doing the washing up and you spilt some water or whatever Actually, trying to get that water out of it is quite tricky at the minute. You'd have to get a tea towel or whatever just to get it out. But a couple of holes just in the front or something which you could then push that water out and it would drain on the floor if you had it open. I think it'd be quite handy. Uh, it's no biggie, really. It's just, a, just an observation. Uh, so, yeah, we absolutely love it. We think it's great. Nice to see new products coming on the market um, with a bit of innovation around them. Really like the single point that you can open it with if you've got a bag of shopping or you've got something with you that you're trying to put in the back of the van actually the ability to just do it single finger pull like that I think is fantastic so really good innovation there so in terms of ordering one of these if you do fancy one um, have a look at the Spacemate website I'll just put the details on the screen now for you um, Simon's doing a special offer on these um, just for California time viewers uh, till the end of August so until the 31st of August if you use the code CALITIME uh, on the website you'll be able to order one of these with a discount so retail price on these 499 uh, I think Simon's charging the same for the version which has got the two rails with the clips on so on both sides or the single pull version I think he's charging the same for both of them uh, so 499 uh, plus delivery uh, is the normal retail price you get 10% off with the CALITIME voucher code uh, which makes it 450. So I think that's a bargain actually. Um, it's really well made, like I said. And when you look at how that compares to others in the market, I think it's really competitive. So check it out on the website. Hopefully you like this kind of content. You like us reviewing these kind of things. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon for some more California time.